Hi there. Now we're going to talk about rotations, okay? Rotations, uh, this is something you can connect to something real easy. A clock has an arm that goes and it rotates in a circle, okay? So rotations, think about it like, you know, you're going to take something and rotate it. There's a rotation. There's another rotation. There's another rotation. Okay. Now often in rotations they talk about degrees, how much you're going to rotate in degrees. Um, maybe it would be helpful to know that from there to there would be 90 degrees, and then from here to here would be 180 degrees the whole way. From here to here would be 270 degrees, and here would be 360. Really it's a full circle divided by 4, right? 360 degrees divided by 4 is 90 degrees per section, okay? That's background stuff. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's take a point and apply a rotation of, let's say, let's rotate this by 90 degrees um, clockwise. Clockwise this way, okay? So we're going to go see what happens. Now if this is one, two, three, if this is four high here, now the four height is going to become four in length. Okay, so there we go. It looks something like this. Just like, imagine tilting, tilting your head, you know? Okay, so, okay, so this is what this has become after we're, we're pivoting on this, this exact point, okay? Right here, this corner is our pivot point. There we go, just like that. So, if this point was here before, now it is this edge piece, A prime. What is A prime? Well, A prime is now 4 and negative 1. Okay. Well, what is the relationship we need to discover of what happened? If we're given a point A and we have to come to point A prime, the difference is we have this and we end up with this. We've taken the 4 and the one, and we've switched their spots. That's the first thing. Okay, that's the first thing. But this is negative. So the second thing is that we have to negate that. Okay? So a two-step thing. Switch, then negate the y value. Okay, that's your that's that's what happens for a 90-degree rotation. Okay, switch Y and negate it. Okay? Let's try another 90 degree rotation and see if it still works. That whole that idea. Let's see if it still works. Okay. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so something like this. Here's our new point. We can count that this is gonna be a prime prime. It's a negative one and negative 4. Okay. Well, in a 90 degree rotation, this rule should hold. We switch them and negate it. So let's take what we started with now here, and we switch it 90 degrees. So 4 and negative 1. Let's switch those and see if it matches to what we can discover from what we know how to, because we can count. We can count squares. So negative 1 and positive 4. Is this the same as, oh, that's only one step, sorry. So we did our switch and now we have to negate the y value. There we go, okay, so we're done. Is this the same as this? Yes, clearly it is. So no big deal, we're good to go. We can see that this actually does work. I wanna try one more time though to complete this whole circle. So I'm gonna just rotate it up like this. So that'll give us something that looks like this. There's our point, A prime, 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 that's okay to call it that. And this here, we can count, is going to be, oops, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 of an x value and a positive 1 of a y value. Let's see. If this is our starting point and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, we should be able to switch the terms and negate the y value and arrive at exactly this. Let's check it out. Negative 1, negative 4. If we switch these, we get negative 4, negative 1. And then we want to negate this, okay? With negative 1, we're, 
negating the negative 1. Now we have to remember that negating a negative is the same as saying positive 1. Okay? So there's our point, negative 4, positive 1. Does this match to this? Sure does. What we can understand then is that for every 90 degree rotation, all we need to remember, we discovered it here, but we can remember this easy little rule. We switch the terms, switch the terms x and y, and then negate the y value. If you can do that, the 90 degree rotations, you are set. Right? Next video. Keep on watching.